Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating um, how to curl your hair with a regular curling iron that has a clamp versus um, the curling, wand, curling wands that don't have the clamps to achieve the beachy waves. Um, the one that I'm using in particular is my new favorite kind of curling iron. It's called the Style Winder by BioIonic. Um, and I believe it's called that because the barrel rotates. So you don't have to worry, okay, which way do I roll it? Which way direction does it go so you don't get those weird creases? It's really easy. It's basically foolproof. Um, it comes in three different sizes. This size being the biggest, it's an inch and a quarter. And it has um, the ability for you to adjust the temperature settings. Um, okay, so my hair is dirty. Uh, it has hairspray in it, hair powder, um, pomade, dry shampoo, anything you can think of pretty much is in my hair. Um, so let's see, we'll start off normally going above the ears for the first section. Get that hair out of the way. Split it down the middle. Then just comb it out a little bit. Smooth it out. And then I always like to leave a little bit, um, an inch and a half to two inches at the bottom just for the beachy wave look. And then that's it. You rotate the barrel on there and leave it. And like I say, um, whenever you're curling your hair, to try and get like the, the beachy wave. Keep your curling iron pointing up and or down, depending on what you're using that's a curling rod or a curling iron like this. Um, and then when you release the curl, you want to hold it up and down too. So you get kind of like that candlestick kind of shape. And then moving on to the other side. Smooth that out. Okay. And as you can see, I'm going to open the clamp like this. And the hair is going that way, facing behind me. So that's the way... That, whoops. That's the way that I will be spinning my curling iron. So the hair was pointing that way when I clamped it and I spun it that way too. And again, hold it. And you can see the end still sticking out. The only thing you have to be careful about when you leave the ends out like this is when you roll it up. You don't want to cover them up with um, this hair that you're rolling up. You want to make sure that these stay sticking out away from this hair, otherwise you're going to get a weird funky crease. Okay, that feels pretty good. And then again, the rod stays straight up and pull it down. And then I always tug on them to loosen them up just a tiny bit so they're not super tight. Okay, next section, um, eyebrows and back. Get them out of the way. And with this one, we'll split it into two. And we'll start with the one in the back. Brush it out. Take your curling iron. Clamp it. Roll it once so that the ends are sticking out. And then roll it up. Uh, oh, it's perpendicular again. Vertical. Perpendicular, vertical. Whatever. <laughs> Straight up and down. Okay. And release it. Okay, on this side. Yes, Ellie, tell them. Straight up and down. Okay, see so I was rotating it with that. Let me get a little bit closer. Ta da! Okay, then go to this side. Split that one into two. Again, we want the hair to go behind us. Rotate. 
and see the ends are sticking out. That's the good thing about these rotating um, barrels is that you don't have to worry about rolling it the wrong way. You just start spinning. You want to go backwards, so you spin that way. Okay. And let that one out. Tug a little bit. And then this one. Right up here. Flip it around and just start rotating. And there's my end sticking out. Let's see. And you want to leave it on like until you can't really touch your hair anymore because it's too hot. That's how you know it's been on long enough. And then tug on that. And then we'll go up to the next section, which I'm not wanting this to be too tight, so we'll just do the rest of the hair. So we'll start in back. Take this one. Rotate the barrel. Leave your ends sticking out. And then let it out. Next one. These sections are about probably an inch thick, um, inch and a half. It's going to depend on how much hair you have and how thick it is. I have pretty fine hair, so an inch and a half isn't really that thick. But an inch and a half could be super thick and too thick if you have um, a lot of hair first square follicle <laughs> on your head. Okay, oh, and there's the toilet. Good job, Ellie. Okay. They're so proud of themselves when they learn how to wash the toilet. Okay. Again, spin the barrel. Leave some hair out. Curling iron is going up and down, hair is going back. And then let it out. Tug a little bit. And there you have it. There's that side. I'm almost done. Let's do this side. Okay. We want hair to go back. Curling iron is up. Start rotating the barrel, up and down, hair is out, and let it sit. Okay. Next. Okay, we want the hair to go back, up and down. Rotate the barrel. It's hot pretty fast. So it's good about these irons. You don't have to leave them on your hair for too long. Now, if you have clean hair, which I said I didn't, um, you want to make sure you put a heat protecting spray, uh, Marrakesh oil, something like that just to protect your hair from the heat but I have so much gunk in my hair that it's pretty protected already okay and let it out so there you go um, again you want the hair to go backwards behind you rotate it leave an inch and a half to two inches out at the bottom. Um, leave your curling iron up and down like this. When you release it, go like that. Um, the, t the parting sections are right above the ear. If you have really thick hair, I'd start right below the ear, then right above the ear, then your temples, 
then your recession, and that'll be the last section. And then you're done. Shake out the curls. Like that. You can finish it with a little pomade. Um, this is a new product that I'm trying. <laughs> Imagine that, Jerry trying a new product. You can use a pomade or a styling cream. This is supposed to be a thickening gel. Which, eh, it's not so bad. And then, of course, finish it with hairspray. Just a little. And there you go. Beachy waves, beachy hair, super easy. Um, the smaller the curling iron that you use, obviously the more, um, the tighter your waves will be. So, I don't know, I would suggest that if you're going out somewhere fancy, but this is good just for, like, every day. It's loose. It looks like you woke up like this. <laughs> we all wake up looking naturally beautiful. Okay, that's it. I hope that was easy. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Okay, bye.